I would say that we are very, very encouraged about what we've come through, all of us collectively together, and where we are going. After a year of wrestling with the impact of a pandemic, City of More leaders are looking toward the future with an optimistic attitude. Deidre Ebrey, Moore's Director of Public Affairs, says there's good reason for a positive outlook. We're just really encouraged that, again, businesses that were um, hard hit by uh, the pandemic, which mainly were restaurants and retail, are definitely coming back. Um, and again, we've not seen a, a dramatic decrease in sales tax dollars. Some of that was online sales, but again, sometimes they actually have an entity in more as well. So no doubt, we are definitely seeing a resurgence. There are also new businesses opening in more over the coming months, adding significant presence to the city's economic landscape. To see new growth happening is fantastic. Um, of course, the largest um, construction site and also final completed product will be Costco, and they are well under construction on the Fritz Farm, and they're basically right on Telephone Road and um, that's fantastic to drive by and see them under construction and see that they are still very committed to this market and wanting to get a south location and that happens to be in the city limits of Moore. Ebury says Costco won't just be an added major retail presence, they bring a deep and positive impact to every community they serve. They're a fantastic corporate brand, no doubt about it, and an excellent community partner. They have high paying jobs, even for part-time work. Uh, they are uh, well above the average wage for retail work and um, provide benefits for their workers. And again, just a, a, a very holistically robust corporate citizen. Costco will draw shoppers from far outside the Moore area. And again, they do a phenomenal amount of business. And so for products that are sold there that are taxable, we then get the sales tax from that. So it's an, it's an incredible boost for us to for them to see what our economy is made up of and want to be a part of that. And then again, for the future for us is, is fantastic to know that they will be here for the long haul and will be contributing into our general fund through sales tax dollars. And that impact will likely extend to other local businesses and restaurants as those out of town shoppers spend time and more. It's almost like a tourism attraction. Anytime you pull in a destination retailer like that, you absolutely assume that there will be secondary spending that will happen because of that. Um, again, that's just icing on the cake. We don't count that. We just, we know it's going to happen, but we certainly don't put that into our, our plans. And uh, we just know that it's going to happen and it absolutely does. And it's played out for us and more that way every single time that we've added something to that magnitude. Costco is expected to open for business sometime this summer. In the meantime, more residents will soon be able to visit three other new businesses. Uh, the former Office Depot that was located at Shops at Moore um, will have a new tenant and that will be Old Navy and they should be opening up sometime this spring. And again, very excited about that, very excited about what that brings to our market. We are an absolute Old Navy type of community here. So we know that will satisfy a lot of our residents' desire to have that product. Um, but again, also people from outside being able to come in and, and do some additional shopping with that extra brand here. Sad to lose Taco Mayo, um, it's an Oklahoma based company, but an exciting brand that's taken that building and refurbished it some and it looks fantastic is Black Rifle Coffee. So this will be just your traditional coffee house with the drive through of course added onto that. So neat, neat company that I think a lot of people will want to get to know and know more about what they do and how they do it. Another space that we're excited about seeing a tenant um, move into is a little bitty space on Fritz Farm and um, in one of the little small shopping spaces there. It was formerly a yogurt shop and now there is a cookie brand that is um, uh, looking to open there. Crumble is the name and they are a national brand that's franchised out. So this is a local franchisee that has leased space in the Strip Center on Fritz Farm. And Ebrey says there's one final sign of hope following a long year of challenges, the reopening of the Moore Warren Theater. I was very proud to see that the Moore location was one of the very first Regal theaters that was opening in the list of hundreds of, of large, large theaters and large, large markets. And here, Moore, Oklahoma is one of the you know, first open of the Regal chain. Just the magnitude of the building and the presence of the building of the Warren Theater is has always been a beacon and very symbolic and we needed that to be open and we needed a place to go and to have a little sense of normalcy even if it was just for a couple of hours.